there are many ways we can bear witness in our community to our devotion to Jesus Christ. A once popular phrase was, the media is the message. Few of us, though, have the talents to bear witness the way Reverend Paul Bond has this past year. We caught up with Paul in the front yard of his Independence home on a rainy morning to share with you his unique witness to his devotion to Jesus Christ. I am a woodcarver and a Christian, uh, a devoted Christian, and so Jesus is the main focus in my life. And I had this tree <laughs> in my yard that had to be cut down. Uh, and I told them, you leave me a seven foot stump so that I can play with it. And this is the result of my play. Uh, Jesus is the person I want to carve and that's who I have done. I started last summer, so I, I've been carving on and off, not, not steadily for a year and a quarter. And uh, I anticipate getting it done within the next month. Uh, I'm, I'm virtually done now, except for the, the feet and the lower part of the robe. We've noticed uh, when we're inside, uh, people will stop and take pictures, uh, and uh, that's that's kind of reaction. Uh, the near neighbors, I, you know, they're all supportive. Later, we caught up with Paul on a rain-free Sunday morning, as people were leaving church. One of the main reasons that I uh, did the sculpture, or, uh, or one of the main things that I've discovered about it uh, as I've been sculpting is is the witness issue. Uh, I, I notice that it, it speaks to people who are driving uh, around uh, looking at it in a way that my sermons never can. Uh, and it speaks to people that that I never see in church. They, they're just driving by and there are people who never darken the door of a church, but uh, they'll stop and meditate a few moments uh, on Jesus there in the front yard. 